So welcome back to JB Reviews. We're taking a look at a 2019 Ram 2500 Bighorn. There's a bee that was about to attack me just now. Let's see if you can see that bad boy. Where's he at? Right there. See him? He just tried to attack me just now. Okay. Now back to what we're talking about. So this is a 2019 Ram 2500. Now, as you see, this has the Cummins motor. Now I did some research on this truck and I, I found out that they actually did upgrade this radiator on the truck. Now this is actually a 39 inch radiator. They actually had to do some modifications to the front of the truck in order to get this bad boy in here. So one thing I also learned too is that this compacted graphite iron actually contributes to the quietness of this engine too. I was a little bummed if you saw my last video um, about the limited I posted. I was a little bummed that the engine is actually quieter inside the cabin. I actually like that about my 2018 that you can actually hear that engine and it sounds really good. And the very last thing I'll mention about the engine is that this truck does have hydraulic lashers and basically what that means is the engine is going to have a, like, less of that ticking sound that you hear in the older Cummins motor. I actually didn't mind it. I actually thought it sounded pretty good. I mean this engine does still sound like a diesel. For the most part whenever I've sat inside Ford and GM trucks I've always noticed that they don't really have that diesel sound but I mean their their engines are very quiet compared to the Cummins but just so you guys know we are looking at a 2019 Ram 2500 this does have the Cummins motor as you saw and on top of that this does have the sport appearance so of course we get that painted front bumper painted grill painted door handles and this is a big horn model so I want to show you guys that window sticker to show you what else is available on this truck so as I mentioned, this is going to be a 2019 Ram 2500 Bighorn Crew Cab, four-wheel drive. Base price on this truck is going to be $45,000. Now, this truck was painted with a granite crystal metallic clear coat, and it has that black interior. I really like that this truck has this black interior. I have done some Bighorns in the past, and I can't recall if the interior actually looked this good. Well, maybe because there's not a lot of plastic in the back, maybe because they have the floor mats down. This truck looks more official. Maybe that's what it is, but I do like the fact. Take a look at these doors. I do like the fact that it has the black interior. I will do a video eventually one day on the tan interior because I like that interior too. But you can see here, these are some of the standard features that come available in this truck. And here's where the options start. That granite crystal metallic clear coat is gonna be $200. Premium cloth bucket seats in the front, it's gonna be $295. Now, as I mentioned, this truck does have a sport appearance package. So it's gonna give you the body color, door handles, grill, surround, Front and rear bumpers are going to be painted, and then it also has a heavy duty snow plow prep group. It's basically going to give you that 220 amp alternator, and the truck does have the off road package, which is going to give it the Bilstein shocks, and it's going to give it the hill descent control. And it's going to give it a transfer, transfer case skid plate, and then level two equipment group. Now, this is where this will set you back $41.95, and it has a lot of good options in it. Now, take note this truck does have the 20 inch wheels, so if you do opt for the level two, you would have to opt to get the 20 inch wheels too also. But you do get the 18 inch wheel standard in this package. Apple CarPlay, I mean, you have a lot of stuff. I'm not even gonna just, I'm not even gonna call it out to you. You can just read it yourself, but, and it starts on this side up top right here. And as you see, you have that anti-spin rear axle for 445. Now this does have that 6.7 liter inline six Cummins. And this that engine is going to be $9,100. Clearance lamps came in at $95. It does have the LED bed lighting, rear wheelhouse liners, and it has a painted flat wheel-to-wheel -wheel side steps. That's $845. I want to show you guys something on these run, on these running boards uh, because they're painted. I want to show you guys a really bad spot that they probably need to update in the future on them. But this truck was equipped with a nine-speaker Alpine system with a subwoofer, has a Uconnect with navigation. And here's everything that's going to come on that package there. 20 inch wheels coming at $15.95. Spray and bed liners $565. Destination of course is at $16.95. And you have a total price of $67,165. So let me show you these, these running boards. I'm going to go on the other side first though. So these are the running boards that, that come with this sport appearance package. They are going to be black in color. The only problem with these are, let me just show this to you. You can see already now this is a new truck and there's already scratches on the running board what they probably should have done was they probably should have taken this plastic piece and maybe moved it further down look look right here actually look at that and these are this is a brand new truck i don't know if putting black on these running boards was a really good idea they probably should have put a really nice brush aluminum on these because 
having painted running boards is never a good idea. But I wanted to show that to you because when I got inside the truck, I saw that. This front end though, I would like to see the LED headlights, of course. I think they look sharp on this truck. But overall, the halogen headlights look really good too. Of course, you're going to have the fog lights. And as you see, you have the front. The front's going to be painted and the grill's going to be painted. I like, like the contrast to have the black uh, inserts inside the grill too, right here. Chrome looks fine too. It's not too bad. Because this truck has the painted bumpers, everything the chrome actually makes the truck look really nice in appearance. And you can see you have those 20 inch wheels. Let me know in the comments, do you guys prefer the 18s or 20s? I personally like the style of this wheel. I probably would pick it if I were to get a big horn. But look, this is gonna be your tire uh, size. You're gonna have a 285, 60, 20. And you can see up front, you have that Bilstein shock too, okay? I really do like the way these running boards look. These are wheel-to-wheel -wheel running boards, so if you need to get into the bed, you do actually have a space where you can step in fairly easy and do some looking there. As you know, we always have to do, I gotta put these mirrors up for you, so let me show you what it looks like with, the, with them down here. So here you go. So this is what it looks like with the mirrors down. On your big horn. Of course, this is what it looks like with them up. Now, I know I've mentioned this in my previous videos, but of course, you know the clearance lamps up top are going to be LED. Now, this antenna on this side is going to be your Sirius XM. And for 2019, they got away with from this tall antenna and they actually put the antenna up top there for you. So, I actually like the way it looks as opposed to having that long antenna. I actually did, went with a stubby antenna. So this is a 2018 is what I'm talking about. So I actually had this originally on my truck too. And of course when you go through a car wash or anything like that, it, it flaps around and it's very easy to lose. And it makes the truck look tacky in my opinion. But for 2019, they did a really good job putting that antenna up top there for you. Overall, I really do like this granite crystal paint too. It looks really good on this truck. Let me move this barrier here. You can get a better look at that truck. Man, that is a bad truck. Of course, this truck does have the 6-4 bed too. Now, when you get that off-road package, you are gonna get the off-road badge on the rear. And you're gonna have those Bilstein shocks in the rear also. Now, I also mentioned in my videos to always get the bed utility group. The bed utility group is gonna give you a spray and bed liner. It's also gonna give you these LED lights, which you can turn on from the bed. And it also gives you a deployable bed step in the rear. Now, I'll go back, to, I'll reference the um, window sticker for you again in the comments here, but with the bed utility is $695. And of course, if you get these things separately, I think it costs a little bit more because if you try to add these after the fact, it's going to be a lot more expensive. So just keep that in mind. Now, this truck, as I mentioned, does is available with the LED lighting and it will give you the LED tail lights also. I really like the way this big horn looks with the painted bumpers in the rear. for your rear suspension of course you're gonna have that four link rear suspension in the rear it's a really beautiful truck though if you do opt for the crew cab they do give you these nice little um, I guess you can call them stands for the rear seat that you can that you can fold fold down if you like, you can actually set these up like that. And it gives you a solid floor surface there. So if you need to add things in the rear, you can do that actually. I really like that they did that. I never had a chance to really use this for my truck since my kids sit back here. And if you do offer that level two package, you will get these USBs in the rear. If you do not, you will not get these. They do give you a power outlet in the rear too. Since you have the bucket seats, you have the AC units a further up versus having the 
bench which puts them a little bit further down there. And here's just a nice little accent piece that they put on the bighorn for you there too. This is gonna have like a, a fabric um, design for the door. But overall, it does not look bad. It looks really good. I mean, I really feel like the bighorn is a really good value, especially if you don't want leather seats. Now inside this interior, this truck is still in um, transport mode. So unfortunately, I can't really show you anything inside the truck, but you will get uh, incandescent bulbs inside the interior. They do give you a power sliding mirror, excuse me, power sliding glass in the rear. And this truck was equipped with the uh, power power pedals to just below here. Automatic headlights, as I mentioned, as you saw, fog lights, power power windows, of course. You have auto up and down up front. And this truck does have the 8.4 inch display, and it was equipped with the navigation, heated seats. Now, if you get the 8.4 uh, display you will have these buttons here so you don't have to go into the screen to get there but if you get the 12 inch screen you will not have these buttons outside of that screen there so just keep that in mind you, of course you have your dual climate control and this is going to be for your diesel exhaust brake your parking sensors and this button here in the middle is going to be tow haul mode your brake control is right here full wheel drive system for 2019 push button start is going to be standard and again this truck has just such nice goodies even you have the seven inch uh, cluster here too but now that you've seen all the options and features on the truck let's take a look at the numbers so if you don't know if you opt for a 2019 ram with a cummins you're going to get a 6,000 pound gross axle weight rating up front and they actually lower it for the cummins for the rear at 6,040 pounds you're going to have a 10,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating and you're going to have an impressive payload capacity of 2,000 136 pounds. Again, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Uh, last time I looked, I believe I had like over almost 230 subscribers from the time I did this video. But again, thank you guys so much for your support. I really had no intentions on really doing much with this. I love looking at trucks, I love looking at cars, and I just felt like, hey, since I like doing this, I should just make it a passion and show it to the world. But thank you guys so much for supporting this channel again, and if you haven't had a chance yet, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.